Social TV is coming at you straight from the Santon Convention Center at the 2017 Africa Shared Value Summit. Can you just give us a few of the similarities in your experience as head of corporate responsibilities between CSRV and CSR? Okay, so actually I think that um, there probably are very few similarities and it's really great that we're at a conference where we're separating the two. I think the real key thing about a corporate social investment or philanthropy, it has a time and place, um, especially around emergency situations or uh, you know addressing key critical needs, but it's not sustainable and it's not a business response. So what tends to happen is that corporate social investment tends to sit outside business strategy. It's the thing that you do after you've done business, where shared values about how you do your business, so it's right at the core of business. How were you uh, engaging um, the, 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 the people inside the hall on? Okay, so I talked a little bit about, uh, specifically I'll talk about M-Pesa, and the way that the uh, fantastic mobile money transfer tool that it is, has actually allowed us within Safaricom to work in an ecosystem that has uh, created immense financial inclusion for Kenyans, because they otherwise wouldn't be in the formal bankable system, even though M-Pesa is not a banking product per se, but it has allowed savings, it's allowed um, payment of, of, of services, it's brought dignity to small traders as well and has a loan and a loan product as well. I also talked about the ways in which we have applied M-Pesa in humanitarian situations and I gave the example of WFP, the World Food Program, that has totally eliminated some of its food trucking operations to refugees camps, replacing that with a e-value of cash delivered by M-Pesa to the refugee who's then able to purchase food uh, and food and waters they may need for their family rather than having to stand in line and wait for relief food. And all of that is powered by M-Pesa. Definitely. Lastly, how do you think uh, telecom uh, companies have started to really implement or are going to start really tangibly implementing uh, or the process of creating shared value? Okay. So, I mean, conferences like this are great because it gives us an opportunity to really still talk and debate about what the what the whole shared value uh, you know idea is and how it works um, as you can see at the conference there's a lot of big businesses talking here I think the real challenge is how to demonstrate that shared value makes sense for all businesses so small and medium enterprises startups uh, innovators and how shared value makes sense for us as individuals because you know big business is great um, we, we have already an existing footprint and able to quickly maneuver business around but if you talk about profit and purpose we need to to have a discussion that will demonstrate that this is still something that you can do even as a startup company, even as a small and medium enterprise. Do you also see it working around other countries in Africa? Because I know you obviously represent Kenya and now you're in South Africa. How do you see this sort of new wave of translating in other countries and you see it growing? Well, I'll, I'll be honest, I think the African continent is a little bit late to the table on this discussion. Um, you know, the shared value concept is not new. Um, I think a lot of European businesses, businesses that have been existing for 100 years, Unilever, etc., embraced shared value quite a while back. Perhaps the terminology was different, but the concept has always existed for some businesses. So we're a little late to the game, but we're here. And I think the Sustainable Development Goals also provide a fantastic framework for businesses to look at how they can do business differently, delivering products and services around the Sustainable Development Goals. Lovely. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.